Welcome to the Taurus new moon. <sighs> this is the new beginning that we have been waiting for after this really intense eclipse season. On April 8th, we had the total solar eclipse in the sign of Aries. That really sparked this journey of us learning how to reclaim our inner sovereignty learning how to reclaim who we truly are meant to be on this earth without the influences of the greater society in the way that it has limited us. The North Node is in the sign of Aries next to Chiron. So this entire eclipse season has been really triggering all of those past wounds, all of those really the specific of Chiron is the wound that each of us individually has that really just is that Achilles heel is that sore spot. So that within each of us has been agitated during this eclipse season. Eclipses have been known to spark epic changes. You see this in the earth. You see this in the culture. You see this throughout everybody's experience on the macrocosm as well as individually. And what is happening here is actually a chance for us to free ourselves, a chance for us to make radical changes, to do that quantum leap. Eclipse seasons are about going with the flow of what is wanting to show itself to you right now in your life. So whatever is falling away is meant to leave and whatever is calling you that might seem impossible you can actually trust that because it's about taking these leaps and bounds forward in ways that you wouldn't have expected the specifics of the planets here are really speaking to this we just had the conjunction of Uranus and Jupiter in the sign of Taurus on April 20th. That has sparked a lot of change and you're seeing it in the world today. You're seeing that we are standing up for what we believe in. People are standing up and speaking out against injustices and having faith that things can change. Uranus switches things up. It's a lot like the energy of eclipse season. It's going to change things whether we like it or not for our eventual growth as a collective and as individuals because everything is on the great scale and the individual scale. What we're doing now is going to be the cycle for the next 13 years. This is what we're setting ourselves up to experience, to revolutionize in ways that connect us back to the earth, to the sign of Taurus to the way that we interact with our environment in ways that is that are sustainable and conscious about where we get our food and where our waste goes and what our relationship with the outer environment really is because that is how we find nourishment within this is all coming to a head right now and we're seeing a lot of explosive energy. Chiron in Aries has been a real big trigger point during this eclipse season and now we have Mercury conjunct Chiron in Aries today with this new moon as well as Mars in the sign of Aries. So everything that has been 
hidden from us is now being revealed. We're seeing all of the corruption and we're willing to stand up for what we truly believe in because that's really what it takes. It takes discomfort in order to change things. But this is about doing things differently than we were told works because this is a new world. This is a different sort of age, the age of Aquarius, which is Pluto fully being in the sign of Aquarius. So Pluto has been going direct and retrograde in Capricorn and Aquarius for like a couple years now. And we have been feeling that and we're seeing that in the structures of the world because it is the power structures and the way that they grasp onto power when things are are doing their eventual change. This is evolution. We are evolving and we're seeing the friction right now. The way to integrate this within ourselves is, with, is also to integrate it within ourselves, within our physical being. We can bring in this energy that is here to help us really create what we dream of. The earth wants our joy and our happiness and our love and our connection and the earth wants peace. And that is why it is time to stand up and speak out for what we truly believe in because we are the ones who create the reality here on earth and we can create what we dream of, what we wish for, what we desire. We are allowed to have desires and to have dreams and to go after what we want and we are allowed to have hope. And that is the revolution, is, allow, is knowing that we can change things. We can, because we are the most powerful. Our energy. This new moon is just brimming with the energy of the Taurus abundance of the fertile ground of Mother Earth, of the health and wellness of ourselves, of our beings, of the animals around us, of the plants around us, of the earth around us, the abundance of fresh water. Because Neptune, because Pisces, uh, Neptune is also in Pisces. So we've got this really beautiful spirituality in the way that it has been embedded in the waters. The waters of this earth are just <laughs> brimming and sparkling, especially sparkling today with the, with the sunlight on the stream, sparkling with life and with energy. So this new moon, I'll tell you uh, the spell that I've that I find is calling for me. And that is to write down your intentions as affirmations. And I have put them all, I've, I have a bunch of, I have a bunch of big mason jars and I've written them as spells on little post-its and put them on the top of the mason jars. And, you know, really, infusing the water I drink with the words that I want to be moving through me as I step forward because we can do this we can change this if we have words from the past if we have 
criticisms and pain from the past that we are still carrying, we can reprogram that into our bodies, into our cells, into our physical beings, and then into our physical reality. And we can do that. We can do this. So this is the Taurus new moon video. It's finally time to really step forward into this new start. If you uh, want a uh, reading, you can check the link below. I'm going to be changing my offerings soon. Um, more to come on that. Well, let me know if you have any questions.